check in guys check in just to get just a moment so let me share a link here waiting for bite light waiting for bite light you don't have to wait I'm here I'm here stream is started 20 seconds in so it should be yeah it is all right perfect okay and the motherboard also says okay but it's uh, totally unrelated i hope the thumbnail is okay let me check yeah work in progress nice let me share the link so people can uh, jump in if they want to if they're not at work but i think it, it's five o'clock here so i guess most people will uh, be getting back or maybe are at home already if they're working at an office unlike me i don't work at an office i work at bite light headquarters who doesn't want that let me um, add some music here uh, all right yeah okay music is on i think uh, we can uh, kick off all right so loads of things to do um loads of repairs and refurbishments uh very old ones i'm really ashamed i should be because um people have been waiting for a month months um some people uh, maybe almost a year um because of several reasons and the main reason for the last uh, four months was that it has become extremely busy here with uh, orders and i'm still uh, coping with an uh, enormous backlog and i should get rid of that but anyway what can you do about it you know uh, let me check if all is okay refer repair and refurbs i don't think refurbs is a, an official an official thing but of course i'm getting spam in but who cares get away with the spam all right complaining people and they're totally right and trying to get a nice setup here of windows so i can see the live chat and i can see myself and uh, and everything you know right okay there are people in including myself uh, so let's get it started here um i got a list of uh, things to do um i'm not sure which i should start with uh i think i will start with a timex machine uh, which i which we mark and i broke uh he might say it's my fault um there was some uh, misunderstanding about a power supply we used on a on a fair and uh, timex um gave some smoke and that shouldn't happen hey simon welcome cool all right let's uh let's get to uh, the first stuff so th this is uh, unrelated this is just a board that i need to uh, refurbish it also already works i'll get it got a tracker power regulator but it's unrelated uh, because um i'm doing other stuff today so let's move away these uh these components that are cut in size so i can pick them by the, by the 10. let's put away these uh, zx hd partially finished boards uh, we'll do that later okay let's prepare some more here uh, I, oh I forgot to order to order solder wick because it's uh, getting uh, it's getting depleted quickly now anyway I got some of that so when I need it let's cut it in two and of course we uh, use our uh, good old soldering pump because my uh, desolder station is a piece of crap uh, people have seen it maybe last week. Uh, I don't like to use the desolder station. It doesn't doesn't work on the spectrum boards. Um, it works on other stuff, not not at the spectrum board. But you can see this is getting getting old as well. Uh, maybe you should clean it a bit. And then I'm making a big mess with stuff here. Oh, sorry, on the plate here. But let's move it aside. Okay. So this is a bit dirty. These pumps always work, if you ask me. Uh, they just need some cleaning. Uh, but the, the solar station also needs cleaning a lot. So that's not nothing special there. Right. 
let's get it first and I uh, hope my batteries won't die because I'm charging new batteries and we'll pick them later. Let's get the stuff from Mark here which needs to be fixed. That will be the first thing. All right. Oh man, oh, that's heavy. Okay, so I got a crate here. Uh, maybe I should uh, give Mark a ping. This is uh, what needs to be done. So it just says repairs. And the repairs, of course. Um, so what do we have here? Uh, we have a TK90X, a Brazilian ZX Spectrum. Haven't tested it, uh, but it's not the, the, the one that we're going to work on. We need uh, the broken one. Where is it? I have a schematic here from one of the machines. I think it's from this one here. This is also a cool machine. Look at that. Look at that. Hey Patrick, good afternoon. Hey Ben, also good afternoon. Okay, I will show these machines later on, uh, but I'm looking for the one that's obviously on the bottom, as always, of this box here. And this is the one I'm going to work on, because that one is broken. Even, even this box is broken. So I should glue that together at some point. But not now. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. So some Russian clones, but uh, that's for later. I think this is one schematic of the Russian clone. It's, it, it's Russian, so I guess. So it's not something to work on at this moment. But this was the one that uh, had some smoke. Uh, let's open it up. I'm not going to connect it because I know already that it was smoking. You could say it's smoking hot, but in this case, it, that's not a good thing. And it's, a, it's also not a black ZX Spectrum, so it's not a sexy ZX Spectrum, so you cannot say it's uh, smoking hot. I did actually got a, another Spectrum emulator ROM cartridge for a Timex machine like this. Uh, it came in last week, so I came by at eBay for uh, 25 euro or something, and that was cheap, so I bought it. Because the Timex ROM is not completely ZX Spectrum compatible. All right. One more screw. Come on. Yep. Right. Oh no, there are different screws there. But they seem not to be original, so I don't think it's a big problem. Uh, let's see if there are more, because it's not opening yet. I don't think so. Connector, black plate. All right, I don't see any other problems here, so let's try to. Oh well, it's, go it's going already <laughs> from the from the top. Look, why is the front still stuck? Oh, it's not stuck. It's just it's just me. Okay, let's be careful with the membrane uh, keyboard membrane. No, oh, no, it's a keyboard PCB, but the connector, uh, which is obviously old and. Uh, although the, the vinyl plates can be obtained, some, someone made them, I'm not sure if uh, they will be the same. Um, obviously the keyboard itself can't be bought anymore. Alright, so this is it. And I hope it's just uh, something at the power circuit. So we see... Uh, oh my god, which, which type is that? I don't know. Uh, does it have a 7805 or a totally different? I don't know. I haven't. I don't recognize this, this board, so I wonder uh, how different it is from the one I've, I've worked on in the past. Uh, but we'll try to get a schematic. This is a Timex TS2000 uh, on the board. It says, and the machine itself says a Timex Sinclair 2068. So that is a American version. Uh, so do say, is it correct? Or, yeah, I think so. Because the Portuguese ones are Timex computer, right? I hope I'm not messing the two up. Uh, great. So we need a schematic. Uh, let's try to find it. And hope uh, it's just something in the power circuit. I'm looking if I can see actually some defective stuff, but not yet. Some huge capacitors here. Not sure if they need replacement yet. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to see if the... I think the regulator, I think this is a regulator, if it is broken, but... It, I don't see, I cannot see it's broken. 
or is it? Nothing obvious. But I know it was smoking, so you have to work on that. Okay. So th this is the only place for the power circuit. Not more than that. Looking if I can see some other known parts, but it's totally different than uh, the one I've worked on. So I guess the one I've worked on in the past was a Portuguese version, and this is the American. Let me get to um, the browser and see if I can find something. All right, Timex Sinclair 2068 schematic. There are some schematics here, so maybe there is one. Timex Sinclair, yeah, yeah I've got one here. Timex photo gallery, yeah, nice. Let me check if that is indeed a schematic that we can use. Yeah, I think so. All right, um, there's no reason to print it. I've got it on screen now. Um, let's download it. Right, desktop, yep, it's saved. Okay, I've got it open now. Let's get to the power circuit immediately and uh, maybe I can share the screen here. I'm not sh entirely sure, I don't think I added that scene. Uh, so let's just add a scene then. Uh, shared desktop, right. Uh, screen might go up and microphone for a second as well. Let, let me see. Right, so let's copy the microphone first. Copy and uh, yeah, that works. And now let's get to the desktop audio. Copy and paste. Okay, and I will uh, add the screen capture. Um, all right, so this is it. You can see everything here. <coughs> And that's not very wise, so I will crop it a bit. You can see, <laughs> you can see why, because I'm getting in messages, and I don't want to uh, show other people, other people's messages if they don't want me to. So let's do a crop. Let's crop uh, something. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's too much. Okay, because you, it's it's good enough for you if you just see part of the schematic you know it's good enough and I'm missing the logo so I need that's that's most important if you think I'm I need to copy the logo here's the logo and uh, the live the live logo and here's the live logo the only thing uh, you're not seeing is it's myself let's add myself he he ran and let's add the uh, small back window as well and now I need to move it on top yep all right Okay, so I think everything is fine. So here's a schematic. Uh, you can uh, z see what I'm doing. Uh, let me check if there are... All right, well, we'll do it there. Uh, all right. Uh, power circuit. Power, power, power. Okay, well transformer. Well transformer. Well transformer. Okay, let's see if this is a square schematic. It says 7812, which surprises me. Oh, of course, this one might be, be fed by 15 volts, isn't, isn't it right? Hey, it got a custom ROM already. There's a switch which says 2 is Spectrum and 3 is TS-26-8, which is nice, but I don't get it. It's a switch inside a, a modulator, so why does it say it's for the model selection? Hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. Alright, um, so is this the correct version we got here? I have a thousand microfarad capacitor here. Is it on the schematic? Yeah, it is here. And there is a 470 microfarad capacitor as well, which I don't see. 470. Oh, it's here. Okay, so I think this is the correct schematic. 
Bah. Yeah, I can see some other parts as well, like a huge diode. Uh, CR24. What's this? U8. U8. I see U1. I don't see U8. Um, so, is that part there U8? And is that a 12 volt? I don't know. And how does it make 5 volts then? Because it requires 5 volts. Um, power ground, signal ground, 12 volts, 15 volts. Switching voltage regulator. Okay. Ah, okay. So the chip is actual switching voltage regulator. So it wouldn't surprise me if that one blew. <laughs> uh, would be a pity uh, because I don't have them in stock. But it's kind of a complex uh, circuit here. And one of the outputs, so we have a 15 volt input and we have a. Man, no pump out. What? 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 Switching voltage regulator. But where, why is the speaker connected here? I don't know. Uh, five volts. Okay, these are five volts. And. Timing cap. I don't know. Five volts. It's connected to the left here. Oh, you cannot see it because it cropped a bit. Uh, so it's this, it's this uh, output here. Um, so I wonder. Will that be the main output? No, it's impossible. Why do you say it's impossible? Because there are two quite large uh, resistors in uh, in front of those, in front of the 5 volt output. So I cannot believe that's the only 5 volt line in. Or is it? Let's see. 5 volt, 5 volt, it uses 5 volts here. And this is really the only 5 volt uh, connection I can see. Let me uh, remove the crop on the left here, just a second guys. This doesn't work as I wanted it to work. So uh, I, I did change it, but let's do it again. Okay, zero. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Just a second. All right, so now you can see what I was talking about. So five volts here on the left. Um, oh, sorry, five volts on the left here. And for some reason, it seems to be the real 5 volt output but why is there a 3k and a 2062k resistor in, the, in front of that i don't know but i guess it will work um it's quite complex i don't like that um oh man and uh okay this is the lm1889 uh, same one as in the spectra 48 uh, this, that is U4. Where is it here? I cannot see it. Where did it leave the LM1882? Uh, uh, is it in the modulator space? No, it can be. That's hard. I don't know. Let me check. Let me check. Let me see the chat for a second. Otherwise, I don't know what they're saying. Oh, on top of the schematic. Okay, let me check. Just a second. I'm looking at it. Five volt. And, oh, there's a five volt. Ah, okay. So the other, the other five volt was uh, misleading. All right. One amp, five volts. Right. It says one amp. So let me let me show you. Um, and there's nothing. Not allowed to see. Okay. So you can see the chat, but you can see it as well. All right. So here it says a five volt. That was the one I lo was looking for. Okay. So we can measure that, of course. Uh, of course, we can measure it on, measure it on the chips as well. Um, there is some transistor here. I'm not sure that could be blown because it's in the five volt line. It's a Q1. What the hell? 
What are these thick? These thick wires. These are ground ground wires. So there are some ground wires sitting on top uh, of what what is I think the Q1 transistor, but it's hard to see this way. It says D43 C1. Is this this type? This type? No, this is a two 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 two. Okay. Um, could be the same. I'm not sure. We have to check. <laughs> we can measure it, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, they seem to have repurposed the switch, indeed. Yeah. This is a Timex 20, Timex Sinclair, so an American model, uh, 2068 Franco. Hello, Dimitri. Um, all right. So we have uh, 12 volts, but that's not the only thing. Um, the volt, volt, 5 volt is coming from the switching voltage regulator here. Uh, so um, let me check. Um, I don't think the 7812 is required for 5 volts here. Nope. So. Uh, we need to check what voltages are present here and oh man I think it's more even more complex than the, the power circuit in the spectrum the original 48k spectrum um, we need 15 volts sorry 15 volts and I don't have a 15 volt power supply I don't think so do I have one here which one was this no it is another one so I think I will need to look inside one of my boxes in a second, can see if I can find one and maybe it will also function on 12 volts except of course the 7812 needs a bit more than that, so hence it, uh, that one uh, wants the, uh, the 15 volts input, uh, but for the 5 volt circuit maybe 12 volt is enough, but uh, I think it's just best to get a 50 volt power supply. Um, I, I don't have the original one here, but um, or maybe I do. No, I don't think so. So I got some Timex models, but not here. They're in storage, I guess. No, they're not here. So that's a pity. So I have to... Um, so I have to... Uh, uh, just go on testing. All right. So there's nothing... Uh, I can see that it's broken. Uh, I'm not sure what part was smoking. Uh, it was smoking, so uh, most probably because of a uh, wrong polarity, polarity of the um, plug, uh, plug on the power supply, uh, because we were using universal power supply back then. Um, what could be broken? When, when you look at the schematic, there's a filter. Um, there's a... 470 microfarad capacitor directly with a 15 volt input. So maybe that one blue, that's the big one here. Um, we can check that by, oh, it's an axial one, mm, it's a bit hard. So we'll get the board out in a minute as well. And then we'll check if the capacitor is still working. It doesn't seem to be blown, but you never know. Could be with a wrong polarity that could bl blow in a, in a second. Uh, then we have the 7812 that could, uh, have, uh, could, uh, could have blown as well. Um, but I'm not sure if that is actually a 7812, so I have to check that. Uh, if it is, then it's an easy replacement, of course. Um, but I cannot see anything bad with that. Uh, what else could be the problem here? Well, maybe one of the parts going to the 5 volt a circuit, maybe. The switching voltage regulator it could be any of those. Um, yeah, I could I could uh, get a, a bench power a power supply indeed, but never needed it until now. Um, so let's find a 15 volt power supply then. Let me check in my box here. Have to move some other stuff first. Alright, 
testing volt. That was easy. You grab a cable. Right. So actually, oh, sorry. I actually don't know if. Right, I think we're back. Yep. Okay, well, I uh, actually was trying uh, to charge some uh, rechargeable batteries, but they went, went out through the charge, so it didn't work. We'll do that later. Um, but I think I'm going to use loads of batteries uh, this way. <laughs> well, the uh, receiver got a, um, its own DC power supply now, so that's not a problem anymore. This time it was the transmitter. No problem. Okay, um, so the problem remaining here is that the, the plug on this uh, connector on this board is not standard. So I need to find something else for that. I have some bag of plugs somewhere. I just don't know where. And uh, I don't mind just cutting plug from some other power supply if it fits. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Right, so this is a cheap as a Chinese garbage thing, so let's use that one. No, it's not alive. Oh, the, the microphone is alive, yeah. 
The spectrum is not alive. Oh, sorry, time it's, it's a time it's uh, sorry, it's a spectrum, but okay, this is going to sound a bit loud. I've done it more more than once. Uh, I just want to use the complete power supply, and this is going to be thrown away. Because don't buy Chinese cheap power supplies, back, guys. They're just not worth any money. All right. Uh, another question is, what will we do about this? Uh, I think we'll just uh, oh, let's just do it uh, in a way that we can use it again later on. Just a second. It's going to be a long stream. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So we're going to make a modular cable. So this will be on there, and now we can solder it on in any way we want. And I can uh, even put a DC switch in, in between, that's a good thing about it. It will be helpful, although the Timex got a power switch on the machine itself. But. All right. So I still don't know the polarity, we will check that later on. But uh, we're going to prepare everything that we can. And then we'll check the polarity in a minute. Yeah, well, uh, trail mix. Uh, I think uh, that's what the extra ground cables are for in this Timex machine. So someone uh, knew that and uh, improved it, I think. And indeed, I don't like this power circuit at all. It's uh, quite um, complex. We'll see if we can fix it. And I hope it's only the power circuit parts, of course. We, we don't know it yet, but it could be more uh, damaged by uh, reverse polarity. But um, if it's only power, then we'll fix it, of course. Sometimes I just uh, throw out all the parts that I don't need and just put a 5 volt circuit in myself. In other way, I've done it before, but it's years ago, so I don't know exactly when it was. Um, <coughs> uh, let's see. Okay, DC switch cable. I have one here. So I just want to start measuring the um, voltage and see if the power supply is actually working. Because uh, I might not have tested this before. I think it's a quality power supply, so it should work. Let's see what we have. Do we have a 12 volt inside and ground on the outside? Yes, we have. We have 13 volts here, so that's perfect for now. Because we don't know uh, yet what the polarity should be. And that's what we're going to check next. That's the reason that uh, we actually damaged this uh, board. So now I want to know what is what. First, let me check on the schematic if it's actually just simple ground and 15 volts. I think so. Um, L1 indeed. This conductor switch is behind it. Okay. Those switches are uh, are quite bad as well, so uh, they could need a cleaning. Uh, but for that, we have to get it from the board, open it up. Uh, so we'll see about that. Because I've seen some of these switches um, uh, with a lot of resistance in it because of their age. And uh, they're hard to obtain exactly the switch, so it's better to clean them. And you can, you can open them up, but uh, if you're careful, you can open it up and clean it by IPA and uh, some more stuff. I've done it a lot, loads of times, but um, also with this switch. So we'll check that as well. Um, so the J1. Um, J1 coil, sorry, L1 coil, coil here is just behind the connector, and so that shouldn't be a problem. We have a small a capacitor of one microfarad that could be blown as well, and that is C2. So where does C2 sit at? I don't see it. Oh, whoa, it's very small. It's an, okay, it's a non, it's a point one, it's 100 nanofarad, so it's a bipolar. That shouldn't be a problem. 
Okay, then we have switch going. Okay, so the switch. That's interesting. The switch. Okay, so you switch the 15 volts to the 7, 8, 12 and to the rest of the power circuit as well at the same time. So, as I said, I want to make sure that this uh, big capacitor here is... Sorry, let me, let me show you what I'm doing. This big capacitor here, this one, the 470 microfarad is um, still okay. Um, something negative, okay. Because um, that could be blown with the wrong polarity. That, that's the first thing I'm going to, ch to try. Let's remove the case again. And center negative, you say? Well, let's see. Um, that's what I wanted to find out. Right. Continuous mode. Yeah, that's exactly right. So it does indeed seem to be center negative. Let me check for a logic chip here. Yeah, definitely. So this one should go to the switch here. Yep. That seems to be switched on this way. Yeah, so let's put it that way, it's off. Center negative. So let's make sure we have a center negative power supply. Which is not the case at this moment. And we have to be careful because we don't want to blow it up again. So uh, this one has uh, center positive. So we're going to um, put the uh, negative. Uh, let me see. So this is the center positive 15 volts. Uh, that should be the center. We're going to measure, of course, on the connector as well in a second. And then we get the uh, uh, center of the new cable to the ground. Okay, let's see. Double check. Oh, dropping some screw here. Uh, let's get uh, something for that. Just a second. is needed but we just need to know if this polarity is now correct so it should be center negative we'll do put the negative side inside and this one outside and we have 15 volts again so that this is a correct plug center negative as you can see in the power supply because if we do it differently we'll get a minus in front of it yeah so it's correct okay next thing is Getting the board back. Oh, before uh, we'll do anything, we'll uh, check the capacitor. I want to know its value. And uh, let's see where it's soldered. Oh, wow, it's soldered on a huge ground plane at one side. Um, the other side is hard to reach because there's a small transformer there. So <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a pity, pity. So we'll get it out at the, at the hard side. I don't, I don't like this uh, the way it's designed, but anyway, we we'll have to do with it. Okay, we got one side disconnected now. Let's get a. I'm going to get the other multimeter because that one has some uh, clamps instead. And we're going to measure the capacitance in farads. Okay. Minus the other one. So, I, I really wonder what it says. Whoa! Okay, oh, it's also working. Sorry. That was too early. 500 microfarads and going up. So, that seems to be okay for now. It doesn't seem to be blown or something, so okay. I believe that. Let's check this one in circuit. Should be uh, a lot bigger. Mm, I don't know if this will work. Okay, so I will lift one of the legs as well for that one. Alright, let's put this one back first. Okay. 
which is a bit hard because of the design which I already said I don't like but what can you build okay okay Right. Nope, not yet. Nope, good turn. And again. So it is connected, but it's uh, not through and through, but this will do. It's a big ground line, so it doesn't matter really. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, let's check the other one. I hope uh, that will uh, be a bit more easy. So if I'm correct, it's this one here. Really hard to see. It's not easy. Oh man, come on. Right, that one lifted. Let me clear the hole. Hey, Jinri, welcome. Uh, which was what? Which one was it? Uh, here? No, good one. All right, let's open up. That won't be an issue. Bring it back. Let's see how this value is nowadays. So just a simple measurement. There are uh, better ways to do it, but... Okay, one milli ferret. So that's okay. Because it's a thousand micros. I've never seen it <laughs> uh, show me uh, milli ferrets. <laughs> this is the first time. Okay. Yeah, they're uh, quite small, you're totally right. I don't like this board at all. The holes are small. But as long as we can get it out and in, yeah, I'm fine with it. So the caps still seem to be okay. I don't think they're, those are damaged or something. They may need replacement anyway because we're, we're doing a, we might do a refurbishment on this board, but if it works, it works. All right. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, so the question still is, what did blow back then? That's the main question. Uh, so it's been over a year when it happened, um, and I really wonder what it is. Could it be the 12 volt, which is quite, um, uh, quite, uh, which could be the case. I, I think it's, it must be 12 volt, but then it means we still should have a 5 volt. So what we're going to do now is uh, check voltages. Let's uh, start with uh, actually measuring the 5 volts. Alright. So C44 is one place, that's this small one here in, in the middle where we can measure it. And it's also connected to the 1000 microfarad, so we can measure the 5 volts on here. This is the 5 volt capacitor. And that's going to ground. Okay. Let's get a rabbit ground like this one here. Let's see what we have. So I'm going to power it up. Nice. 
Nothing. 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 Okay, do we have a 15 volt somewhere at least? Um, I want to check the uh, 7812, which should be this one. And I'm not entirely sure if that's actually, actually the, the case, but we can check it, of course, by seeing where the legs of this part go. All right. So the middle one should be ground if it's a 7812. Yeah, it is, and it's switched on, so I guess... No, that's not the case. Oh, of course it's ground. Uh, why is there 28 ohms of resistance here? I'm not sure about that, so we have to continue looking. Um, I'm not sure if that is actually the 7812, but where else could it be? Oh, this is a 7812, okay. This small one here. <laughs> Okay, so this is something else. Uh, I can't see which part it is because there's a... I think it's just underneath the... Insulator here. Uh, anyway, um, this is 7812. And I, I I bet it's broken, but we'll see about it in a second. So this is, the middle pin is ground. Yeah. And the left pin is the voltage input. Why can I measure anything here? What? Why is it not measuring anything? Let me check. Okay, so this is pin 1. Let me check in the schematic of the 7812 because this is a small um, package version which I don't often see. And I have to check which uh, pin out it was. Um, and okay. 7812. Yep, let's come back here. Let's see what a pinout is. This is not the version I need. Alright. Let's get a small one. Which one is it? Ah, that one here. And the input is indeed the the most the upper one there. That, that's correct. Uh, I've got it on screen now. All right, we know that. And yep, that's the input. So the bottom one is the 12 volt output. So what could be best to do? So at this moment, I think this chip is broken uh, because we didn't get any 5 volts uh, a moment ago. But we can check for 12 volts then. And if we don't have 12 volts as well, then I guess both parts are damaged. Um, so this is the output of the 12 volt circuit. And this is the negative side. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, switched off, is it? Yes. All right, I think this one is switched on. I'm not entirely sure. Nothing. We got nothing. Okay, let, let's first go and check if we got 15 volts input here because the switch might be bad, as I said before. So let's get this one to the input. Yeah, this should be 15 volts if we power it on. It actually says something, so I think uh, yeah, it's going down. So it must have been gotten 15 volts there. Yes, we have 15 volts. But if it doesn't uh, give any output voltage, then this chip is broken. So it's transistor. Uh, it's, it's a voltage regular regulator, a low, low, low dropout voltage regulator. So uh, you can call it a chip. Nothing, no 12 volts. Okay, <clears throat> that's for sure. So we need to replace that. And also, we didn't get any 5 volts a second ago. It should be on here. Nope. So we have a, we have a problem. I'm not going to power it on any longer because we know that we uh, we got some faulty parts here. Let's get back to the schematic and see um, if we can 
if there could be anything else in that um, chip there. Uh, Q1, what was Q1? Okay, uh, I think that's Q1. So you say Q1 might be damaged? I, I have no idea. But, but the problem is, um, I want to know. I want to know. I, I don't know that 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 the U1 chip, the voltage regulator chip. Let me show you again. The the U1 chip here, the 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 complex chip. Um, I've never used it before. I have absolutely no idea what voltages should be on these lines here. Um, of course we can do a check, but it's uh, it's hard to find to find out which part is damaged. So if, it, if it's a chip or something else. Um, well, what could we do? We could fix this, but it doesn't matter for the 5 volts. It's completely separated. So I think we have to find a data sheet for this chip here. Um, which will uh, take some more time, unfortunately. But I, I need to know something about this chip. Um, so let's get the type. The type is the A78840. Micro UA. Um, hmm. 788.40. Switching for the regulator. Hmm. Nothing. What brand is that? I have no idea. UA78. Oh, there's actually another type in there. That's odd. It's another type. Well, that's strange. Let's see. So on the board, there's not the type that's shown in the schematic, but it's another type. Let's say Google for that. It says UA uh, 78S. Let's say S. Really? Yeah, 40, and then PC. But I don't think that's required in this case. Ah, okay, now we got some data sheet information. PDF here. Yep, it's obsolete. No, really? <laughs> okay, let me show you this schematic here. Oh, sorry, uh, data sheet. Universal switching regulator subsystem. Oh my god, why did it choose this? All right, 78S40. Switching regulator subsystem consisting of a temperature compensated voltage reference. Bloody bloody. Okay, uh, high current and high voltage output switch. Uh, 40 volts. We don't need 40 volts. So there are some parts to make it 5 volts instead of 40. Um, all right, timing capacitor. Output. Oh, we have to get back to the schema uh, schematic. Here. So, so the the lines that uh, the output set are interesting for us. So, the pin fourteen is the fifteen volt input, but uh, pin fourteen. What? Sorry, didn't do that. Fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. We're interested in those because we want to know um, if we how we can measure this chip. Where's my PDF? Yeah. 14, 15, and 16. 14. I, this is in current sense. Okay. Um, driver collector and switch collector. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional in these kind of chips, but let, let's see if we can uh, find some more information about those. Maximum ratings. All right. All right. All right. Step down converter. That's what we are looking for. Voltage in. This is an example of 25 volts. Voltage out 5 volts. Okay. 25, 5. Alright. So it's a 5822 diode here. And that's odd. 15, 14, 15, 16 are shorted here, which is interesting. And they're using output on pin 3, which is totally different. Um, wow. Is this a correct data sheet? So now I'm uh, really doubting. Or is this a uh, totally different um, schematic? It looks like that. 
Okay, this is another one. Still using... Yeah, 28 volts. So this is step up. Step up converter, so you can use it both ways. That's interesting. Uh, inverting converter. Okay, minus 15. We don't need that. And a lot of more information here. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay, so we need to know if this is a correct schematic, and we can find out um, if that's the case. Let's get back to the schematic. By checking if these are actually connected to uh, the 5 volt circuit. Um, which I doubt. This is not easy. This is not getting easy. This is not just this uh, replace a transistor or a uh, voltage regulator and we're done. No, they made it difficult. Okay, let's see. So we should find R4, which is a 330 ohm resistor. R4, where is it? R4, R5, R1, R2, I'm looking for orange rings. Oh, uh, this one here, R4. Yeah, okay. So we got R4. Oh, let me uh, share the screen. Sorry, guys. All right. Oh. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um what it won't be it won't be what um i i think uh, you're right i think the chip is dead but uh, because we uh, we're not getting 5 volts and we're not getting uh, 12 volts and the chip is uh, directly connected to the 15 volts so i guess you're right uh, so i have to source one but we'll, we'll do that later i just want to know if this schematic is correct you say it won't be it goes through a what, what through one um it won't be. What won't be? I don't know. I just want to, sh to check first that the, the schematic is uh, corresponding to the um, board version. So let me check if pin 15 and 16 are, are shorted. So these two. Yes, those are shorted and those should go to R4 indeed. Alright, so that's correct. And then R4 goes to the output. Uh, oh man, why did it they make this so complex? Um, what could we measure? We could measure uh, pin 15 and 16 here. You can see if there's some voltage in there, but I don't think so. I think it's completely dead. There's nothing to see about the chip, so that's a pity. It doesn't look broken, but you know, you don't know. Uh, but it does look that the chip has already been replaced at least once, you can see here at the bottom. So what I will do is uh, source another one. Yeah, this has been replaced early, uh, once before. Why is here sh that short here? Is it on purpose? Yeah, or not? Oh, no, no. What the hell? Oh, this is such a terrible bore. Oh, let's just keep it like it is, but it looks like... No, this is on purpose. So there are some modifications on this board. <laughs> Which I'm not sure if it's on purpose, but... Man, terrible. So these, these two pins here are connected to each other. And they seem to be soldered. I think it's on purpose. But it's really hard to see, so I don't know why that has been done. Yeah, it's really solid. I don't think it's uh, accidentally. No, it's really connected. Strange. Let's just keep it as it is. 
Uh, let's get to... Oh man, there's, there's even some solar remains left from the, the person who did the previous replacement of the, sorry, of the chip. Uh, I bumped my microphone. Excuse me. Um, so the only thing I can do for now is see if we got anything on uh, the input of R4. Which I don't think, but let's see. Um, because it, if there's uh, some voltage there, then oh, this, it says 1.1 volts. That's interesting. Because nothing is connected. <laughs> uh, because if there's some voltage, then maybe the, uh, the transistor Q1 uh, uh, is dead. That could be uh, the case. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 15 volts. Whoa. Should there be 15 volts there? Wow. Uh, hmm. There's a voltage on the input of R4. <sighs> now I'm doubting. Um, sh should that be okay? The, in that case, that it, it's Q1 that's dead. And the question is, which one is Q1? Did I find it already? Oh, I think it was this one. <laughs> With the huge ground wire here. <laughs> Let's check it out. That's Q1. Yeah, you, need, you mean you mean if it's switching, we can do that. But if if it's 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 uh, outputting 15 volts, um, so maybe it wants to switch, but there's no feedback, um, so it doesn't know where it should switch at at which frequency. I don't know. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so what we can check is if indeed. Q1 is the one which I cannot read. And if that's indeed a defective part, we also have a Q4. Is there a Q4? Which, because it's the same type on this board. Q4. Q4. No, no. The, so this was probably Q6. Where, where is Q1 then? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have L2. I think this is L2, but I cannot see it because it's, it's such a garbage board here. There's definitely no way of seeing it. Uh, we can see this wire, by the way, which indeed will uh, will probably go to the ROM here and select one of the banks. Uh, but that's not important. Let's not get distracted. So where is Q1? This is Q8. Where is Q1? I don't think this is this is Q1. I think it, this is Q6. But I'm not sure. So where is Q1? Is this Q1? Oh, this could be Q1, of course. But I'm not sure. Uh, there's a huge uh, resistor there. Uh, is there another transistor? A resistor? No, there's not. So the R1 here, I'm not sure which part it is. R4, R2. Where is R1? schematic where is R1 oh here's R1 oh ah, dang sorry guys uh, let me zoom in again so here's R1 and it's indeed connected to a transistor so I think this one is fried uh, large to 220 what do you mean with 220 I don't know 220 yeah, the, horror, the layout is terrible. It's it's terrible. So I think this one is the uh, Q1. Let's uh, remove the some parts so we can see it actually, and then I know what to order because I don't have these. It's isolated from the board with the plastic uh, bolt and nut. Cool. There's a <laughs> there's some, uh, something keeping it up. Why is that? Why? What? Okay, I don't know. What? Whatever. We'll do that later. So this is Q1 indeed. All right. I guess this one is uh, totally broken. There's nothing to see here. Let me check if uh, I can see something on the bottom. 
<laughs> it's actually upside down. <laughs> Look, can you see that? <laughs> so they put it on upside down. And that's the reason why uh, they need some di the spacers. <laughs> so it's a D43C1. D43C1. Does it say? Yeah, that's indeed the correct part. So I think we're going to replace this first and the 7A12 first. And we'll see what happens then. Um, maybe the chip is still working. Maybe not. Maybe I'll order one as well. And two of these then. <laughs> um, right. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do at this moment. I don't have spare parts for these. Um, so this will take a while uh, to come in. Or uh, maybe if the parts are available at Cornell, then it could be a one-day job, or, of course. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I guess uh, this chip will be a hard one. Just have to... Uh, might check it for diode drops. Uh, diode drops. I'm not sure what kind of oh, okay it's uh, yeah okay we can check uh, we can check that um, we can measure the two sides of it um, oh that's good right what did it say BCE and the base was at the right side from here okay and five. It doesn't seem too bad. So what do you think? If you see these values, um, I have the feeling that the diodes in here are still working. So would it be the chip then? I think this is fine. 0.6 volts on uh, on both diodes. Hmm, so I guess it's it will be this one then. I think it's a chip. Let's see if we can uh, source it somewhere. Maybe on eBay or AliExpress, I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, we can find it. I'm curious. I, we broke it, so I have to fix it. <laughs> There's no uh, no other way I can uh, put it. You just have to fix it. Um, all right, let's um, get to eBay, for example, and let's try to fix it. So I did get the data sheet somewhere. UA seven eight S forty. That's the type we're looking looking for. And do we get a hit? Yeah, we got a hit. Woohoo! It's expensive. Well, the shipping, shipping is expensive, but it's the first I see. So let's uh, let's check if uh, we can find a cheaper one. Okay, six euro from Italy. Yeah, perfect. Uh, why does it say? Oh, yeah, okay, of course, tip sixteen. Uh, only uh, let me show. You. We can share this. There's no reason why not. All right. So we got a we got a, the, the type here on it. Although it shows a different picture, it's not important. So several sources from Italy. I don't know why from Italy, but anyway. Um, and of course, uh, when I look uh, worldwide, we will get cheaper. But I don't want to wait for that. That's not that, that cheap. It's uh, still five euro something, six euro. So I think we'll get, just get, uh, oh wait, we can get more than one, but I think when we will get one from somewhere like Italy or Spain. Why does it say Spain now on the top? That's odd. I don't know. Um, I want to buy a couple, mm, yeah, why not, uh, well, let's buy a couple, um, and let's check, just to be sure, if we accidentally do not have one here, um, I don't think so, I got loads of uh, voltage regulators, but not that, not that type, I've, I've not seen it before, as far as I remember, so, nope, UA, UA, so it's, I think it's in the same series as the 7805 and 7812, but 
It's just a more complex version of it. Um, nothing here. So we'll just order one. Um, let me check the chats in the meantime. Maybe someone has a bright idea. <laughs> you never know. Uh, I'm thinking the chip is knock. But is it worth it? What, what means not okay? Okay. I guess not okay. <laughs> um, uh, I think uh, we'll just buy, like, order a couple and the other parts as well. But let's first uh, order a couple of these. Okay, here's one with uh, quite positive feedback. Yep, let's order uh, three or so. I don't know. I don't need that many. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. For why? Why? Why is shipping so expensive? Ah, man. Okay, let me check if we can find a cheaper one. Uh, can I? Can I, can I, can I, can I, let's try the, the one in Italy, one, no, it's the same, it's the same with shipping, it's not, not, not only once, I don't pay shipping once, I pay shipping more than once, and I don't like that. Yeah, and 7812, well, 7812 shouldn't be a problem, I think I got 20 of those, let me check. Seven eight twelve. Um, where did I leave those? That's a long time ago. I used one. Uh, Seven eight five. Where are those? Where did I leave them? Yeah, here they are. I got some uh, 7812s, but these are uh, the, the bigger versions, uh, so maybe I should just... I can... Uh, I think I will just uh, get a small one as well, a new one. Why not? Alright, so, uh, I want to get a normal shipping cost, but it, it, this is all 5 euro for shipping, but anyway. Uh, it, it's not that odd, by the way, because uh, shipping in Holland increased a lot as well, because... Um, in whole Europe and worldwide, I think 400 countries or something, uh, they want to uh, know where a shipment came from. Uh, hence, they you ca cannot send something in an envelope anymore. You have to send it as a box, a letterbox at least, um, with a certain thickness. And you can only send them if the post office knows uh, who you are. <laughs> That's uh, what it com comes at. Uh, all right, so let's order these, and I think we'll get just the Spanish ones. I don't think it will get much cheaper than this. Or someone must offer a free piece, for example, here from Poland. Uh, that's that's eleven euro now. It's, it's more expensive. Twelve for four from Poland. Um, okay, so the top one. If I want four, how much do I pay? Will be three, four, five, six, six euro. Sorry, six pounds for uh, shipping, and uh, okay, this this will be more expensive, I guess. Uh, I wanted to get free, and what happens? What's the total? I don't get it. I say free. Yeah. Okay, this is a uh, eleven pounds. It's not cheap. Eleven pounds. I think it's about the same. Maybe because these are rare, I don't know. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, I've got, got one here for 12, which are eight of them. Could be nice. And these come from Germany. So eight pieces. Seems to be reliable. Neu, Auflager, Auflösung. 
Uh, I think I will buy this one. So eight pieces for twelve euro. Okay, that's the cheapest I can find from Europe then, at least. Hope these will arrive soon. So next we'll get the um, seven eight twelve. And these are all the the big the TO uh, 220 uh, versions. Oh, a large TO 220, yeah. Oh no, okay. So Q1 is a, a, indeed the uh, the other one. Uh, let me check. Um, oh, it's an L, of course. You're totally right. It's an L12. That's uh, the small one. Yes. Give me a couple of those. Five pieces for five euro or something from Germany again. All right. Five times L seven eight L twelves. One hundred million uh, million pairs. And yeah, this is nice. It's a four euro in total. And then we should get that uh, transistor the Q one. Um, so that was the D forty three C one, forty three C one. So, what I will do, I will finish ordering that, and I will uh, get streaming with uh, the next repair in about half an hour or an hour or something because uh, my wife's calling me for dinner. And um, so I will see you in part two. Uh, we'll go on with uh, refurbishments and repairs for a couple of days. If it's up to me, uh, but people are um, uh, keeping me busy with a status request for their orders of all kinds of stuff. So, uh, but I will be back later on uh, with fresh batteries. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, we'll see you uh, later.